Big, uh, yeah, big, uh, big stand-up show. Seventeenth, gonna be good. Uh, the, the whole, the whole point of the week. There's so much going on. Uh, one of the things, the big reading series, uh, Bottle Rocket Hearts was read. Zoe Whittall, a uh, new book. She's being called the uh, the funniest, best, no holds barred writer to emerge from Montreal since Mordecai Richler. Huge praise. Wow. It's, it's Zoe, everybody. Hi, hey. Hi everyone. Okay, uh, talking about uh, Pride, what was the best moment for you? I had a lot of fun on Friday night. I went to a dance in Parkdale called Foxhole at the Gladstone Hotel, and it's sort of like um, a high school dance for gays. It what was a, really fun. How about when you, read, when you read? Because you, you were actually reading passages from the book. Oh, yes. What was your reaction like? Um, it was really good. It was a, a solid crowd of, of literary types. It was kind of a little nerd enclave amongst the pride revelry, which was great. And we, we should explain a Bottle Rocket Hearts uh, story of an 18-year-old gay girl in Montreal, her first adult relationship. Mm -hmm. What has been the reaction? What have people been saying to you? Uh, across the board, it's been really positive um, from queer people. I've been hearing a lot of uh, excitement that finally their lives have been represented in uh, Canadian literature in a contemporary way. And I also have been getting a lot of response from straight people who feel that the themes resonate with them, even if uh, they're not queer themselves, that themes of jealousy and uh, political instability and insecurity. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Um, the book of while she's gay, it's it's not about her being gay. It's not no. about her like I'm I'm gay. I'm struggling with being gay, yeah. which I would think would be the theme if this book was written like 20, 25 years ago. So I'm wondering how is uh, coming out now uh, changed since when you came out? Um, well. It's funny, I came out at the same time as the main character, although the book isn't autobiographical, and I, I do feel that... And that's in 95. That's in 95. Okay. Um, I, do, I don't want to generalize about everyone's experience because it's so individual, but I do feel that just with uh, the amount of queer people in pop culture that are represented, the amount of... Um, just the lack of, of hostility on the street compared to 10 years ago, it's quite, uh, it's quite different now. Okay, and uh, the backdrop of the story, again, uh, it's in Montreal, it's mm -hmm. the referendum era, mm -hmm. uh, there's biker bombs going on, a lot of feminist, uh, uh, queer university politics. I'm wondering, uh, contemporary gay issues, what's your take on them? For example, we were talking earlier, the Anglican Church very narrowly decided, no, we're not going to bless same-sex marriages, you're on your own. Mm -hmm. what's um, I think queer marriage is a, a hot button topic right now. I do feel like I wish there uh, was more focus on issues other than queer marriage. Like I believe that. Uh, what are some of the other issues that, <clears throat> that I'm not? That I don't well, know about? I think that homophobia in schools, violence in schools. Um, I feel that while there are amazing social services in urban centers like Toronto, I feel like there could be a lot more done in rural areas. I'm from a small town. I know that um, you know there's still a really high suicide rate for queer and trans youth in Canada. Um, I feel like we could support our young people a lot better than we do. I mean, I think in cities we do a really great job, but I feel, you know, it could be well, better. Uh, one it way could to, be better yeah. One way to do it, uh, definitely uh, Bottle Rocket Hearts. Pick it up right now. Zoe Wittall, uh been getting incredible reviews. The new Mordecai Richler. I never thought I'd meet him, but there, there she is. Thank you very much. Zoe Wittall, everybody. Thank you. Thanks for being here.